Hey, a whisper on my pillow. Leave the winter on the ground. I wake up lonely into the silence of the bedroom. It's all around. Touch me now. I close my eyes and dream away. It must have been love. Well, you know, the whole idea with Roxette was that we wanted to go international. We had we had Swedish careers, and I had been very successful in my with my Swedish band. Marie's solo career in Swedish was going really well. My heydays were actually over a bit, so Marie, Maria's career was climbing. I was more, I was a little bit like going down a bit. But Marie and I, we've known each other since the late 70s, and we always talked about we should do something together because we had these things. She, she had an amazing voice, and she had this. We shared the ambition, and, and I, I could write really great songs for her. I, I wrote different songs for her than she could write herself. That song called Soul Deep, for instance, which is. She's amazing in that song, but she never really wrote material like that on her own. After the success in Sweden with the first Roxette album, even though it was a success, a platinum album here, we were a little bit disappointed because the idea was to get abroad. So we talked to the EMI in Germany and they said, oh, we can't get you on the radio, it doesn't work for us here. So, and they said, but maybe you should write a Christmas song. Maybe it's easier for us to get you on the radio if you write a great Christmas song. So I said, yes, well, hmm. I went home and, <laughs> and I wrote this song called It Must Have Been Love. Christmas for the broken hearted in brackets. It's Christmas day. I dream of... I th it was Marie who was going to whisper that to make it sort of intimate. But that's not on the version, is it? No, we gave it up. It was corny. On my this was before auto tuning, so it's really out of tune. <laughs> this is a really bad demo, actually. I hate this demo. So uh, we recorded it and we released it as a Christmas single in Sweden and it became a smash here in, in the Christmas 1987. A on my Big song for us and Germany didn't want to release it because they hated it, they didn't like it. EMI Electrola. So we basically uh, forgot about it, you know. I started writing the Look Sharp album and uh, forgot about it, must have been love. Then we had all the success all over the world with Look Sharp and The Look and Listen to Your Heart and all those songs. And then in, in uh, 1989, probably, we had a lunch in, in Los Angeles with EMI and they had just got the rights to a soundtrack to a movie called 3000 or $3,000, I can't remember. It was uh, about a guy who hires this girl for a weekend for $3,000. And, and they, had, they said that they have David Bowie on board, they had Go West, they had Natalie Cole, they had, um, you know, whatever. All those EMI artists, and they wanted us to, to write a song for the soundtrack. And I said, we can't do that, I can't do it, I don't have the time, because we, we're traveling all over this planet doing promotion for the Look Sharp album. But I said, I have a Christmas song. <laughs> We have a Christmas song, and uh, I can very easily alter the lyrics to that song. And it's a whole Christmas day. So I got rid of Christmas Day, became Winter's Day, and uh, off we went, and, it, and we sent it to them, and they loved it. it must have been
course, they changed the name from the movie to Pretty Woman. And uh, I remember I was in, in this studio when I got a telephone call, and it was uh, Gary Marshall, who was the director of Pretty Woman. And he said, hey, I just want you to know that I love this song so much, and, and uh, I have given it a great place in the movie, and there's no dialogue over it because it speaks for itself. It just gives the whole movie a certain character in that particular scene. I just want you to know that. And I was like, okay, thank you very much, boom. And then the movie came out and it became this blockbuster. It must have been love, been love, and we just, what? What happened here? And, and then of course it must have been love became this epic song that it is today. Yeah.